Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Algorithm Minds. My name is Asan Khurram and in this channel I teach programming skills in Python, MATLAB and R programming. I also teach Tableau our data visualization tool. So if you want to learn data analysis, data science, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon button. So I have been producing a series of tutorial videos on marketing analytics. This is where I actually take a marketing case study, a marketing data side and implement data science, data analysis techniques with the help of tools like Python. Python and Tableau. In the previous videos, I have shown you how you can plot basic uh, visualizations in Tableau. Uh, these are some highly resourceful videos. So if you are quite new to Tableau or don't know how to um, work around with Tableau, I suggest you to go and watch those videos. I will put the link in the description for you. So for today's chart, we are going to deal with advanced data visualization for marketing and analytics in Tableau. I'm going to teach you how you can actually plot this stunning visualization, which is called Sankey chart that shows the relationship of one categorical variable. In our case, we have marketing channel type to the next categorical variable like we have age groups. Okay. And this link represents the uh, quantity of uh, the relationship that we have between these two uh, nodes. We say the right node and the left node. So that being said, let's move on and let briefly discuss about what is that, what is this data set is all about and what we are actually going to visualize with the help of this Sankey chart. So I will go towards the data source. Now, as you look at the data source, we have like a number of columns in our data set. We have your customer ID, which is the unique ID a customer gets whenever he buys a product from a company. Then we have gender of a customer, then we have date of birth, then we have location, then we have allowed contact, uh, we have registration date, then we have marketing channel type, which is of our interest uh, area, which is, uh, which is of our interest because uh, here the marketing channel represents uh, how the customer was acquired, whether the customer was acquired by a organic search or whether the customer was acquired by a paid search. So this column here, marketing channel type represents that aspect of our uh, data set. And then we have first order profit. Uh, subsequent order profit, subsequent order count, like if the customer buys repeated three times, like the customer buy more than one time, then we also have counted the number of times the customer bought from the company. Then we have total value of all promotions, which is exactly the offers or the discount the company has to offer to a customer in order to make him buy his product or services. Then we have the area age, which again are uh, column of interest. So basically we will be playing around this marketing channel type and column age. Then we have total profit. Okay. That being said, now what we are actually going to do, we are going, actually we are going, going to create another column in a data set that will contain the labels based on what value we have in the age column. For example, let's say that if the age of the customer is, uh, uh, let's say somewhere around like 25, then the respective value of that row in the column age group will be 21 to 30. So we are actually segmenting the customers and we are actually updating a new column in our data set with these labels like 0 to 20, 21 to 30 to be able to distinguish and classify or segment customer based on their age group. So how we can actually do that? It is quite easy to do with the help of XCL code. And that is exactly what we have here in XCL code. If I show you what would the end product will look like, it will look like something like this. We okay. We have an additional column which is called age group, and that depends on the value that we have in the age column, like 39. So the this customer will be assigned an age group of 31 to 40, and so on. So let's move back to our Tableau environment. Once we are done with the uh, data set, let's move on and actually plot uh, this visualization in Tableau. So let me just delete this for right now because we are going to start from basics and from scratch. Let's head back to our Tableau environment or workspace. So the first thing we need to do is actually create an additional column that will contain the categories or the segment of age groups. Okay. So in order to do that, what we are going to do, we will go towards the data plane then we right click it, then we go towards create calculated field. Here, first of all, you actually need to rename it to something that you can actually remember by. So I will say simply say that like it is age 
groups range okay it could be anything but i uh, i just name it as age group range now here in order to create the segments and in order to populate the value of this column what we are going to do we are going to use an sql code and this is the sql code we are going to use it is basically an if and else statement that will actually evaluate the column age and based on the evaluation what whatever the value that is present in age we will then populate the value of column uh, a new column for example let's say if the customer has an age of 19 which then what will it will happen like uh, this will condition will be evaluated we see that if age is greater than 0 yes it is greater than 0 and it is, it is less than 20 yes it is less than 20 because we have a 19 number so we will assign a value of 0 to 20 in the same way it will keep on iterating at each row and it will evaluate that value of age column and based on that evaluation it will fill the value of with these labels so let me just copy it and let's head back to tableau environment and let's paste it here now we have successfully incorporated the sql call all we need to do is to click ok so we have successfully created our uh, calculated field which will contain the label groups now in order to plot a Sankey chart what you actually need to do is to have a Sankey extension uh, if you click on this uh, chart type you can see that i already have this Sankey extension in my workspace environment but if you don't have see the uh, Sankey extension in your environment what you actually need to do is you have to go to add extension and once you go to add extension here it will allow you to search for extensions uh, you, you need to actually search for the Sankey diagram, okay? So the Sankey diagram will write S-A-N-K-E-Y, Sankey. Now you can see that this is the extension we need to download it. I have already downloaded it, so I will just simply use it with my Tableau environment. Now once you do that, the next thing we need to do is quite easy. So we are basically creating two nodes. The first node will be a marketing channel type, and the second node will be an age group. That being said, what we are going to do here, we are going to pick marking channel type dimension and then drop it on level card. Now you can see that we have actually uh, plotted our uh, left hand side uh, nodes, which contains the unique values of uh, uh, whatever the unique value that are present in that column. We have affiliates, we have direct organic search, paid search, and paid social now what i'm going to do i'm going to go and grab that age group range which we have just recently created with the help of sql code and then i'm going to drop it on level now you can actually see that uh, our Sankey chart is about has uh, much to taken place like it's uh, is viewable now we see that we have on the left hand side we have nodes of marketing channel we on the right hand side we have nodes of uh, age group range which uh, we created earlier you can see that age group range of 2 to 20 21 to 30 and so on but here the problem is right now that in the width column which actually represents the quantity of relationship that one node has with the other node is we, we see all the widths have to be equal length so right now we actually need to incorporate a variable that will identify the width of these links so how we can do that, uh, based on what we are going to do, we are actually going to count the number of occurrences in each category. For example, if uh, the customer was acquired through direct marketing channel, uh, so out of that direct marketing channel, how many customers were in the age group of 2 to 20, how many customers were in the age of 31 to 40. So uh, now what we are actually going to do, we will actually pick this marketing channel type dimension and then drop it on detail here keep that in mind this it is the dimension we actually need to convert into measure so that it can be counted so that is quite easy to do we will go towards drop down menu then we go towards measure and then we will go towards count once you have converted into a measure that is count you will pick this capsule from here then you will drop it on links now you can see that the width has changed according to the uh, number of occurrences for a specific category. Uh, to make this chart more readable, what we are going to do, we are going to short it 
uh, from ascending to descend. From uh, where you want to short it, either ascending or descending. So we will go towards, so what are we going to do? We will click on drop down menu, then we will go towards short. And in the short, we will go towards field. And now, by default, it has already selected uh, marking channel type and its aggregation is based on count. So if by the help of it, we are able to sort it from the lowest to the highest. And now we, it's uh, more we know the Arsenki chart is plotted and we can easily co comprehend the story behind this data analysis that we see that most of the customers were acquired through direct and direct uh, marketing approach. Uh, most of the customer lies in the segment the age group of 31 to 30. 21 to 30 and the least performed uh, or the least uh, marketing channel that contribute to customer acquisition is actually a page social and it also has some segments in every age column. So this is how you can actually plot a Sankey chart in Tableau. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you need to uh, if you if you need to ask any question regarding today's tutorial, feel free to write down your comments. I will be happy to help you out. I will be publishing more tutorial videos on Tableau and I will be carrying on a comprehensive data analysis case study on Tableau. So I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon button. I will catch you soon in the next video.